the roses starting we've got mike josh beaters are rubbing running double contested with gen views on beating mm -hmm. Josh Arms is surely going to get the screams up first. Yes, he does. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to QPL Cardiff. The year is 2018. It's about two o'clock, and uh, the Yorkshire Roses are playing the South East Broadside. South West Broadside. South West Broadside, whatever. I'm joined by my <laughs> lovely co-commentator, Fiona Stevens. Hello. I'm Zach Cox, and I'm here to talk at you for some time, if you're listening. Welcome to the show. Ooh, Mike Lewis makes a shot, and it does not go in. Joe Crater makes a little run for it, but it's well off the hard boundary. That lovely Southwest keeper Hugh picks up the ball and gets on his way. So Southwest holding budget control right now. They're not using it though; they are just standing there. Is that a double male beater combo? I think it is. I cannot tell from this distance because I need better glasses than this. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, so a napalm coming oh. in there. The beat goes wide, and that leaves surely an opportunity here for some drive here. Oh, shots wide. Picked up by that looks like Mister. Fenton into Mike's hands and uh, here we are so Sam Burkett and Jen Hughes on beating now holding bloody control after that aggressive play from the South West team Sam Hughes uh, Sam Burkett is tip for expansion next season we are rooting for him keep an eye if you're watching on number 31 in white little Joe Creighton coming from behind Hughes got an eye on her but uh, hopefully that's going to come looping over the top Yorkshire have got some very nice trolls on their roster we mean that in a nice way. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, hand through the hoop there by Hugh. Nice blocking. Josh is beat. And something's cool. down is cool. Oh, it's picking up downstairs. Oh, yeah, so. On the other pitch during this broom down, we are looking to have the start of the Wales-Scotland derby, which isn't three different places. It's Wales and Scotland facing off in the Battle of the Colonies. I didn't call it that, that was a joke. Back Again. On, back on our pitch. Um. Players started, no call seems to be made. Press is coming on from Burkett. Forces a bad pass out of Hugh, who puts it in the hands of Bex McCochran. That looks like number 84. She's going on a bit of a drive. They, rather, are going on a little bit of drive of their own. Joe Creighton's um, keeping an eye on the uh, keeper for broadside. 76 oh. drives it in, it misses. Tom Owens goes through three people but misses the shot. And it's in Mike's hands, safe. So, it's like a compact being put together by uh, Southwest. A short, a bludger though, by the looks of it. No, Call they're not, they've got control. Have they got control? Yes. Oh, I missed that. Wait, have they? Yep. Yeah, they have got control. Sorry about that, guys. So, uh, who do you favour to win this game, Pete? I think it's going to be very difficult to tell because Broadside have won one game all season and Yorkshire have won no games all season. One game all season. Oh, one game. They beat Thistles. Oh, okay. We've uh, already lost count of the score. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. I'm sure it'll be a healthy infographic somewhere, but it's still very close. Both of these teams are very conservative. You've got very tight compact coming in from South West, having to block these shots. Mike Lewis, being an expansion player, does have somewhat of a shot on him. Burkett eats a bludger and eats another one. Nice block. Oh, still knocked out of his hands. Armitage has got it and he's lost it. Ripped out. Hughes going and then it looks like there's no one in the way. This will be a goal for sure. There we go. Yep, that's a goal. I think that might be the first goal. I, I don't know. I, there might have been goals. I think Yorkshire already scored. We'll call it 1 0. Okay. 10 0. What's your thought on that? The 1 versus the 10? Are you a digits or a tens kind of person? I mean, if you're staying true to the original game, it should be tens, but it's easier to call a one, two, right. and not a 20, 10. So. Less syllables, clearer to understand. So, Soham, Yorkshire's new American import, has now arrived on the pitch. He's a, a big, drivey boy. Do has a quick who, chat with Lewis. Do you know who he plays for in America? I do not know the American team he played for. While he was in the UK, he played for Edinburgh. Yes. First, I believe. Yeah, so nice shot. Oh, that's yeah. in, and that's good. Some cheeky beating, and that looks Let's like... Let's call that one all. One all. Let's pretend. Right, so counters on. Hugh gets wrapped up by, I think that was Fenton. 
Kind of hits off. Mm, no blood to. And right. broadside have control back. And right, so a bit of a bruise down. Oh, there's a yellow card for, for Soham. Do you know what that was for? No, I didn't see. But I and saw a turnover. The ball goes to Soham behind the hoop. No, it doesn't. That's broadside. No, the ball goes to uh, Owa. I meant not Soham. Soham, Soham, Owa. Oh, oh, oh. It's very hard to see from up here, in all fairness. And we're both blind. Gone to his sub box, he'll be off for the next minute or until a goal is scored, whichever one of those comes sooner. Oh, we're surely just going to put this. No. That's wide. But it looks like that's uh, Hugh's got it again. The capable Falmouth keeper. Him and Ruben being the bastions of that age old club. Oh, shot in. Oh, that misses Ooh, as well. Just off. I think it was again. Um, possibly. Yeah, uh, I can't tell. I, yeah, think I think so. Is, yeah. I think so. Number 84, that's her. Yeah. That's them. Um, right, so Clayton looking to. Uh, it's a bit of a cut, but there's no mark. And if they're not marking her, then she's eventually going to get goals in. So Mike's moving around, very patient. Rogers. He's a very calm player, is Mike. Yeah. Broadsides do have bludger control, so they're just kind of waiting for things to happen, I think. Um, Number 15 behind. I think they're doing a downtown. That's that's Josh Fogg, um, who is the manager. Um, okay, counters on. Oh, oh, Bex going again. Took it. Can they step? They've taken the bludger, but they still do not have control. Cause Sam was off Broom. Oh, Broom's hands. I think that's Broom. And oh, oh, there was beat a beat. Blocked by the player. That's uh, the hoop. That, that is a goal for Broadside. Score. We reckon is 2-1. Oh, okay, so keep a keeper sub. Down. Oh, oh, there's a broom down. There's a broom down. Oh, the keeper sub's happening. Ref, I think that's. I can't tell who that ref is from here. It's a ref. T takes him back to his old spot. There will be a keeper sub for number nine. So Hugh White will be coming off. Unless he is rested enough for the broom stand. That being Charlie Strickland. He's of, of Exeter. Uh, Exeter Eagles fame. Good play. I think I played with him at a Merck tournament once. So the refs are deliberating something. Uh, Sam Senior is wandering onto pitch. Yellow card, yellow for, card number for number 10. Yellow card for number 10, Graham Zappel. Zappel, like Apple, is the advice there. Okay. Which makes sense. I would have gone with Zappel. So easy. George Whiting moves over for a Box, but it's bruised down, so no one's going to call them out on it. So, balls with Yorkshire, so is bloody control. We've got, uh, it looks like Foggy and Burkett on at the moment for the Yorkshire beaters. Yes. Let's see if they can make some damage here. Both going up, Fogg stays back. There's a bit of an angle coming in for Burkett, he's going to try to sneak up. He's quite aggressive. He's a, an unbelievably fast boy and fairly intelligent as well. Beat goes wide, 90 seconds, nothing. That's a bl no blooded situation for Mike Lewis. And that's in. Right through the hoop. Sam didn't even have anything. Very nice. That's the best for having threat of blood, as it annoys you. Right, so 98 chucks it back and engages in a bit of a standoffish approach. Strickland's now on. Yeah, that's sub's come from. The crowd is chanting that they want Oa on the pitch. Sensible call. Number 10 is back on because the goal was scored. Yep. So Bex running up again, right, playing an absolute school on Creighton. So what but uh, Burkett's in the way, she can't do anything about that. What Burkett did there was um, he threw the bludger back towards the hoops to pick up the ball at his no. feet. No. Which Go will ref. not be legal in the next rule book, apparently. It's going to be changing, yeah. Goal ref just shrugs about that sh shot. Meanwhile, it looks like, I think that's Fenton down there, is having a scrap with the uh, broadside chaser, Ruben Thomas. Yep, and broadside, have the ball. That's not a man you want to get in a fight with in a dark alley. Ruben, widely regarded as the best tackler in the country in the year 2018 of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, number six now on for broadside. Mike Lewis hasn't subbed yet. Nor was Joe, I don't think. Soham has been on for a while. It looks like Roses are trying to keep the same line. Sam hasn't subbed. No. 
Right, so. Some trades of bludges there. Roses still come out with control, but the goal is good. Nice little dinky shot there from Strickland, I think that was. I think Fogg is holding on to his bludger a little bit too much. He has been known to do. They, he has been known to do that. They, yeah, I know. I'm, I, I haven't got cheat sheets, so I'm misgendering a lot of people. Sorum gets the goal there. Tackle comes in from Ruben, but it doesn't matter if you tackle him if the ball's already gone through the hoop. But he is lying on the floor. It's fine. He'll get up in a second. He's not injured. Like a prophet I am. Number 28 this year, Mr. Sorum we're talking about. He does look like he's taken a bit of a hit, actually. It might be. He is subbing. Injury sub. Mr. Josh Armitage comes on. Not bad, not bad. Oh, and he's... Oh, I heard a shout of a yellow card. That would be in the accompanying Scottish Welsh derby. And there is a Welsh beater being carded. I don't think there's going to be any ref calls made in the game we're watching at the moment. No. They're, vo they're both very evenly matched, I believe. Score is currently something something to one team or the other. It was 2 1 when I lost count. So. Oh, it looks like Phil Brown is on. Very nice. Phil's a bit of a different style of beater to uh, Sam. Sam's a bit scrappier, whereas Phil is happier to throw the bludger at you. He's moving right behind. The screen doesn't do anything, but uh, Harry Smith just throws it back in there instead of using a no-bloody situation. And there is, I oh, the feet called safe there, Phil. He looked like he was fairly blocked by the red there. Another shot. He can do it all day, can't he? If you let him in your keeper zone and there is a hoop that is not guarded, Mike will throw it in the hoop. He does have the very long arms that are happy for loving it in, and also for keeping, especially in the middle hoop, which is very tall. So. Let's see. So, a bit of a chain of a beaters here. I think that's uh, Marianne from uh, Manchester on at the moment. A resident of the Yorkshire lands. Newton goes in for a bit of a napalm. The, the, the beat misses, so does the tackle. So, uh, no plays from there. Number six. Trying to get something done, but Phil just bops him and sends him home. I can see something funky here come on, because currently... Rose the broadside are not are very far away from that bludger. 98 is a long way off anything happening. I don't know why we're not seeing a... Yeah. Phil puts it in, bad pass comes through, yep. and then it's cleaned up very nicely by Marianne. And Josh picks it up and just makes his slow and gentle way towards hoops. Yep. And Phil's in there, face beats. Having been on the receiving end of many face beats from Phil, I can confirm they hurt. Yeah. So, nice, easy goal in there for Roses once the bludgers have been cleared up. Armitage will just run through you. I once saw Armitage run through about four people before he was eventually taken down. Mm, four. I mean, that's literally the maximum number of people he can run through in a Quidditch game unless he's interacting with a beater, which is impressive. Mm. So, let's see. Roses hold budget control. Worldside hold the quaffle. Number nine's holding it behind his back. That old cheeky move. Like, I don't have the quaffle? What I do you mean? Hiding. I have had to shout in games, where is the quaffle before? And it was quite embarrassing. Wrapped I've up had by to shout in the game. Oh, very nice Ooh. throw. And, and that's in. That looks that's good. Called it good. Nice goal. Is that Strickland there, number nine? Yes, I think so. Yes, I think so. Strickland. Brooms down. Although apparently it's Strickland come dancing. I don't know what that means. I don't know how you pronounce that. Strictly? Strickland? 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 I think that's just a bit of banter on the sheet. Probably, yeah. Hopefully. Sam Senior, manager of Broadside, is known for being a banterous man. Yes. They inherited the Grizzle Puffs mentality, the major team in the region. So the screen from Newton isn't working, but they still trade bludgers, which means that actually, if this goal isn't good, then uh, Broadside is good. Mike knows that. Uh, Broadside come out of that with bludger control, though, so I want to see a counter on here. Phil has got the bludger again. Okay, maybe not a count is the wrong word for it, because their beaters are behind their hoops, but... We're seeing him come back now. That's Mr. Newton, and then someone's subbing off. Number 16 coming on now for Broadsides. Sophie Connolly, who doesn't play for team, apparently, because she hasn't filled in her sheet. So... I recognise the name, so perhaps an old Bristol player. Ooh, very nice. Oh, he eats beat. Phil makes the beat. Into the hands of Harry Smith. Yep. And Roses now hold. Waffle. 
the slow World Cup. Nothing's going to happen while there's still two bludgers in that box. It's going to be some work from Phil and Marianne to uh, tease out some control or some opportunity. Make some space for Mike to do something stupid. There Alternatively, is, he might just shoot it. There is a fair amount you can do without bludger control, um, although Marianne is appearing to try and get it off Newton. That's not the one you want to go for. She's about a foot taller than him. Wait, he's a foot taller than her. Oh, Phil comes to Phil. clean up, but again, there's a no bludgers here. Press needs to be on and far away from those hoops. And you need your fist up, Marianne which she has. Running for the immunity now. The drive. Strickland surely coming out of a counter here. He's running a bit slow, but I want to see some more pace. Oh, Newton clears out the keeper. And, and oh, very nice tackle by Mike. Knocks him on his ground. Picked up by, I want to say, Harry? Number 24, that is. Harry's a lot bigger than that. Oh. Um, brings down. Alexander Mark, there. So, there's number 24. injury, I think, for number 24, who's going to have to sub off. Bex, having a bit of a look at it. Refs are congregating for something. Not goal, the goal refs always left on their own. It's a bit of shame, isn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to make the step up from goal ref to assistant ref, and it's... It's a big one. It is a big one. I'd be a better ref if I'd actually read the rules. I, I think I this game's in Swiss. Um, I believe it will be. No I, on pitch. I reckon about 10 minutes have passed by now. My hunch. At the moment we are watching pitch two, which means we don't have any of the fancy technical equipment. There's no producer whispering in our ear. There's no uh, live stream. We're just uh, working here in the old analog age. We have a microphone now. Aren't we? So uh, we, we have we have a cameraman. So big props to the cameraman. <laughs> so uh, players Rose back. Mike has the ball. One Again. bludger. Marianne hands off the bludger to Phil, deems him the more competent thrower, and tries to lay some sass down upon 16, Sophie Connolly. Bit of a throw there. Just needs to annoy her though, make sure it, Ooh, it neutralises the, the Connolly. And uh, then Newton and Phil can have their own back. Oh, switch of targets there, very nice. But Newton's tall, he's keeping Ooh. it in the air. Oh. Oh. Not good. Oh. Emily's calling that good. No, she's not. There's no whistle, therefore it's not good. The shot was on target, but there was a hand in the way, so uh, no goal. Mm. Or they are S deliberating it. Senior steps up and uh, they've asked for a VAR, I think is the is the call there from Oa. You see he's doing a little screen motion, so I think hopefully... Where is Steve the ref when you need him? I mean, retired and probably living a life of luxury and banger somewhere. If those two things can indeed coexist. Um, have I been to Banger? Very strenuous ref discussion. Everyone was waving their arms about. I love watching about words of ref discussions. The commentator and trying to work out what's happening. I heard tell that some of the refs might be mic'd up today. I think that's on the other pitch. Let's see. I don't know. When I was sitting in the stands, I didn't hear anything. I think that's for the live stream, really. So. Probably. Definitely the final, I imagine. If you're just joining us halfway through this YouTube video. I'm Zach Cox, this is Fiona Stevens with me. Hello. We're in Cardiff, it's the Quidditch Premier League. It's reasonably sunny. <laughs> not, not the weed, no. Broadside are currently having a game against Roses. The these teams are very close. Last year when these two teams played, Roses came out on top just... It, remember it spawned that meme? Yes. The meme of Newton, Tom Newton, <laughs> on his knees, crushed like no man has ever been since. Well, Phil Cardiff. Brown shows his joy with his arms in the air the snitch in his hand and then the next shot is Susie Harrison right. leaning down to ask presumably to ask Philip um, Newton if he's alright but so. the meme says are you happy now <laughs> I think he went into too much detail about the meme so pause and play I'm not sure that goal was called good we were, we were having doing other things uh, Ruben holds the quaffle Hugh White is now back on for Mr Strickland let's see what the change I, I have an opinion about Broadside. I think, from what I've seen, they play much, much better when Harry McLennigan's on pitch. So we should get Is McLennigan on pitch. Is that because he's your friend? No, they, they did clean. They did play a lot cleaner and a lot... The passes were a lot more well-received. That's a good goal. Very nice. So... He's a good receiver. He's a good thrower. He's also your friend. He is he? also my friend. We haven't seen much Ruben Crunch in this game. No. Wanna perhaps, see perhaps they're conserving their energy for what they hope will be a higher tier game. 
I don't think so. This decides if they go into the fifth, sixth place playoff. This is the most important game they've played all day. Last so. year, of course, uh, Broadside came seventh and Roses came fifth. Yes. Although the teams were quite close together. Right, so. Armitage moving up now. Mike is still on pitch, has not subbed yet. He looks like he might try and put a tackle in, but he doesn't fancy his chances with Josh. Mike, you'll find a slightly stringier target, but uh, still hard to tackle. Ooh, Shot goes in wide. On to 24. Alexander Marks, I think that is. They are beat. pretty decent. No, not beat. Nicky was beat, number four, ah. but not Alex. Right, so Josh Armitage on point. Ruben on the flank. Nobody's with him. There needs to be a B to there. I don't know. There's Jen Hughes. Oh. There's a mutual beat. Bit wide. 28 gets on, but makes a nice tackle from behind. I think that's back to hoops there by number 20 for number 24. And no. I think it's a hard boundary, but we're just going to wait for it. Goal ref's not going anywhere. Lazy mermaids. So. There's no salt there at all. Not at all. Snitch for this game looks like, I think that is our very own head of video content. Geo. Geo. That'd be an interesting one. There's another snitch, I don't know who it is. Might be Nichols lining up there, but I think he's repping at the moment. Got a, a lengthy bruise down no, at the moment. That's Joe from Leicester walking onto the pitch in the middle. Ooh, okay. Might be snitching. Is that a looks like there's a hoop malfunction on the pitch, means you've got a bit of a bruise down. Much of the same over here in uh, in Rose's broadside. Is that <laughs> goal ref shrugs? That was good. And eventually calls it good. <laughs> he just shoots, doesn't he? I think you need to just when Mike's doing it, you need a bit of a bailer, don't you? You need to block yeah. the hoops. Yeah. You need I think to adopt so. a semi bailer. What you can do for this one is I've taught this one by JT today. One person on the big hoop, point chaser, and then two wing chasers. One kind of half marking for the trolls, and then half hand in front of each hoop. Once in training, I blocked a Mikey Orridge goal on a Baylor. My proudest moment. It was the first time I oh. chased. Ruben blocks it in. Very nice. Control and the third bludger thrown back to the hard boundary by. Uh, I don't think that was aimed at a player there by number four, but I'm not enough of a ref to tell you that. I don't have opinions about rules. I just shout things. I think by this point, on either team, if I was in charge, I would have called for a timeout to reassess what we could do better. But that's just me. It's just a bit, a bit lax, isn't it? It's very mono style. It's just been. Oh, very nice there. That, nice bop there by Foggy. Roses that, take control. If Phil Brown can beat this bludger, but there's a slide. Is that Carey keeping? A bit of a screen on. An absolute battle happening down here in the bottom left corner. And Phil's off his broom and it goes to number four. I think a card's going to be given here, isn't it? Some waves about. You've got Tyler it. Only, on the pitch. Only, only one bludger in the way. Let's see what Foggy can do. Tyler put, trying to put a tackle in. That's in. Very nice there. Just a little bop. A little you volleyballed it over. And there's a brooms down. I believe that is indeed Sean Carey keeping. She uh, plays for Leeds was their captain last season remarkably stepped no. up to keep uh, I think that's Claire Cooper was their captain but yeah oh, Sean's a good, a good little keeper uh, does that mean Mike has finally subbed off I believe so that's not right that can't be right maybe he's waiting for when Snitch comes on pitch maybe he wants to seek yeah that's a good call or maybe he wants to keep while Snitch is on pitch so that the beaters can focus on Snitch timeout has been called now they followed Fiona's student advice is that a word? student it should be if it's not, it As in be. relating to a strudel is what I was going there, which means pretty decent. I'm such a bad commentator. <laughs> it's fine, we have some giggles. <laughs> right, so teams are congregating. So you are Cornish now. Me? What you you are Cornish, okay. Fiona. Alright, fine. You're Sam Senior, you're ginger. I am ginger you're anyway. From the West Country or you're Cornish. I don't know. What are you saying to Broadside right now? Get McLennigan on pitch. I don't think he's on the <laughs> roster, mate. I'd go with something more tactical. What's the thought? I would say, watch. What do they keep doing? 
they keep passing it to Mike and Mike keeps popping it in. How can we stop Mike? Baylor. Change up the defensive. I don't think a full Baylor is needed because he will just drive it. But I think just a bit more awareness yeah. of the shot. Some tracing might be a good mm. improvement. You know where like a one t one the the point chaser covers one hoop while yes. the keeper covers the other two. Yeah. I think that might be in order. And mm. I don't think some of these lower level teams have got that tactic down yet. No. Whereas uh, some of the higher level ones will have that down to a T. Meanwhile, for roses, what's what's the what's the discussion? I mean. In all honesty, I've been to one fixture all season. I've only seen them play in Birmingham. Sean's coming off. I think this is going to be so on in a second. Oh no, Josh Armitage on in the green headline for Sean. So that's uh, Josh, Josh Armitage bringing six years of experience to the six Roses roster. Six years. Six years. That's, that's what it says on the cheat sheet. Time. That's like longer than. I'm sure that's what it says on the ages. cheat sheet. I played Quidditch for two years and I'm ready to retire. So, oh, what a shot from Benton. That was majestic. Put it right through the middle hoop at the angle. Beautiful. Very nice. Stretch from the keeper, but just not enough to block it. I think that was Fenton. If it wasn't Fenton, then sorry, whoever it was. Um, Memo Golraf shrugging there. Hugh White looks like he's, he's back on in the in the green. Yep, he's been on for a while. Past 17 for broadside. And yes, the snitch is Joe Crate. Uh, Joe Crate. A Leicester amount replaces a hoop. What a good gem. Two, a second go and replaced. He's going to do the third. He's doing the third. Is that BM or is that just trying to be helpful? Nice goal for broadside. Who was that? I don't know. I've completely forgotten Joe's surname, who's snitching, but he plays for Leicester. That's good. Joe from Leicester. So, we are having Ruben on to snitch. He caught the snitch in their very close game and against Scotland. And I believe that might be Phil Brown on the other side of him. That is, yes, with the ponytail. So, Phil, of course, catching lots of snitches and so always. <laughs> Bludger control lost by the looks of it. Okay, no, they've kept hold of it. And they, but they've lost all of the number 46 was definitely beat there. I think someone's fouled. She was calling immunity when uh, she did not have immunity because That's number 31 had thrown the bludger at her. At this point, uh, it is a very good time to hold bludger control on the snitch about to go on the pitch. Because if Ruben can get a little bit of time, then uh, that's all he needs. Of course, uh, if you're in swim, the bubble is the key method for the beaters. So what that means is they will defend the snitch with both beaters and beat out the seeker. Snitch just becomes over all things in that situation. It does. You don't give a monkeys about anything else. It's no. just the snitch. So uh, seekers have to be prepared to do a lot of shot runs in that case. So, it looks like a bludger turnover and a card for uh, Mariana there. So, down a beater and with, no, with only one bludger at a very pivotal time. Who's the other beater? It looks like that is James Clark Dixon of Leeds. Uh, with Who's the fist up. Yeah, and running. Ruben's going to get some alone time with Mr. Lester man. Let's see if he can do it. He's tall, he's got long arms, he's fast, he's got everything you want from a seeker, apart from maybe a little bit of footwork. Um, but, uh, James is beat out, as is Ruben. Okay. Armitage gets a goal, pretty easy, drives it down. There. I want Hugh to counter right back right now. Setting up the bubble right there, so Phil's beat out. Not much point. Oh. That, was, that catch was good, there was nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Scoot, scoot out right from behind. Long arms as are Ruben. And uh, no fouls in the beat game. Nothing that could have impeded that. I think that is for sure a catch, in which case uh, South East will come out. South West. West. Why, well, South East have come out ahead as well. They're playing in the final right I'm now. I'm sorry. We're both Northern, okay? It's just the, the South. South is the South. Congregate for a little bit. I'm seeing some nodding of heads and some just really like, yes, it was right. And then, yeah, is good. Broadside win. And they mean. And the mean <laughs> so this means that now Archers are going to play the Southwest Broadside in the fifth, sixth place playoff. Yep. And Roses are going to drop down to play the seventh, eighth place 
I assume, against the winner of Scotland and Wales. Final score was something to something. Yep. Game time was about 22, 23 minutes, I reckon. The snitch was not long on. No. Quick uh, catch for Ruben. So as the hug line goes on, uh, I think we'll call it there.